Jake Ludington here with Paul Muller of HP at HP Discover Frankfurt. And information optimization seems to be the, the word of the day. It's a big topic for us. I mean, we've got our strike on, as we describe it, which is pretty much all of the news we have today is focused on the topic of information optimization across all the different areas of enterprise and business. So autonomy seems to play a key piece in a lot of this, um, which uh, it, it seems to like sort of permeate absolutely every one of these announcements. Why is that? Well, autonomy is amazing technology. You know, we acquired it um, uh, very recently, brought into the HP Fold. It brought with it some tremendous technology we call IDLE, which is the intelligent data operating layer. Think of it as kind of like SQL, but for unstructured information. And what it lets you do is ask a whole bunch of interesting questions about unstructured information like images, voice, um, uh, you know, Word documents, PowerPoint, those sorts of things, and get back the data you need. So it's got applications across printer technology, it's got applications across um, data leakage and data loss prevention. Uh, and the fact that we have 170 patents there is really exciting to our engineers because they want to get at that technology. And we were talking uh, a minute ago about you guys have a solution that I would say kind of kicks Blunk in the teeth in terms of uh, logging event discovery. Well, I didn't say that specifically, but yeah, I think the principle's right. So we've launched something we call Operation Analytics. And what we thought we'd do there is combine two areas which up until now have been separate. So the first is, if you think about trying to support service levels, you know, looking after the service levels of a website, one of your big problems is, first of all, how is that service performing? And when it fails or is performing slowly, how do I quickly correlate to the likely root cause? Is it the application, server, network, database, that sort of stuff? So we built some patented technology a while back, we announced 12 months ago, called TBEC, Topology Based Event Correlation. It would tell you what went wrong. What we hadn't really solved the problem of is, okay, so once you've worked it out, how do you avoid going to each of those consoles, logging in and checking what, you know, all of the logs on all the various servers and applications that you've found or pinpointed the problem to? In fact, one of our customers said they were spending about half a million dollars a year solving that one problem. What we've done with uh, Logger is introduce a technology that integrates directly to that business service management solution and allows you, think of it like a black box recorder for an operations guy. They can literally find that event, right click, pull up all the logs that are relevant, whole bunch of historical analysis done, really helps you underpin or find the underlying problem really rapidly. In fact, that one customer I told you about has trimmed about 50% off their event resolution times, which is pretty high. That's, that, that's an impressive uh, cost savings. but. How are you guys doing this? Because, I mean, there's like, you know, thousands upon thousands of events that could be happening, hundreds of thousands probably. Yep. Um, how are you getting to that granularity? Is it, is it things like autonomy being able to uh, find the, the relationship between what you're looking for and the events? So there's a couple of things that we do. I mean, you talk, you're right about the volume of events. I mean, if we look at uh, the logger solution we have, we can ingest about 105,000 events per second on a DL580 with, say, 32 CPUs. But, but nobody wants to like wade through 100,000 <laughs> events. Unfor well, maybe unfortunately not. Maybe I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate. You're right. So one of the things we're using, well, number one is some intelligent heuristics inside Logger to help you analyze those events. And you're right. In fact, we've recently introduced a new solution on the security side of the house that allows you to look at an event. For example, uh, Jake just emailed somebody outside of the company with an attachment. We actually use our idle technology to open up that attachment figure out, you know, is it a picture of a kitten? What is it with kittens and the internet? <laughs> or is it, say, a sensitive document like an engineering drawing? And depending on what IDLE finds, it's enabled to flag to the security uh, team a potential violation or data loss breach, which can then be investigated by a human. So we cut a lot of the manual log processing time out and make machines do the work for the humans rather than the humans doing the work for the machines. Now, is the next logical progression of that is if you can predict with reasonable accuracy what was inside the, the document, yeah. never letting it uh, hit the exchange server and go out into the wild? So we have looked at technology like that and it is possible to do it. One of the challenges you find of course is that um, people get really frustrated when their emails <laughs> don't get out. Uh, so one of the things we've done is uh, combined something we call Rep SM, so reputation analysis of the source and the sync, so where is the information going to. If it's known to be irreputable or have a low reputation score, we can combine that with the fact that there's a degree of probability that it's a sensitive document and at least shut down that conversation until an operation staff can look at the actual document, make an, an informed assessment by a real human, and then obviously open that port back up. So it's certainly possible to do. Obviously, you just need to be very careful about the degree of, it's a bit like junk mail filters, right? If you're too aggressive with the junk mail filters, you wind up making everything junk. Yeah.
No, 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 I get that. It's just, uh, that, that seems like you could just avoid the problem altogether. And that's exactly the sort of research that we're doing at the moment. It's really exciting, the fact that we're combining, you know, autonomy technology, arcsite technology, fortify technology, tipping point technology, combining that with all of the uh, assets we have uh, from what people knew as traditional HP software, like our operational and uh, quality management technology, bringing all of those patented assets together to create new solutions. In fact, I did a patent count uh, about uh, eight weeks ago. There are 2,000 patents, 1,000 granted and 1,000 pending just within software alone. And what we're doing right now is exactly is combining all of those together in really innovative ways. It's a lot of fun. So what other things are, are going on in information optimization at HP besides uh, event logging and uh, the stuff around autonomy and, and processes? I mean, because there was an announcement, I believe, around legal document search and then marketing document search? Yeah, so we've done a couple of things. I'll, I'll talk about Bulldozer shortly because that's obviously really exciting. But we announced today two new performance suites. If you remember back in... Um, June of 2011 in Las Vegas, we launched the IT performance suite, uh, which was targeted at the CIO, help them perform better. Um, with the introduction of Autonomy, ArcSight uh, and Vertica, we've launched uh, three new performance suites today. Security performance suite for the Chief Information Security Officer, and then a legal and compliance and a marketing performance suite. And the legal and compliance performance suites really help uh, designed to focus on the, exactly that issue, e-discovery. So we've launched an e-discovery appliance, for example, so that people can rapidly store and find the information they need when they have a legal hold request, which can be really expensive. Normally a lawyer would charge about $3,500 an hour, or sorry, a gigabyte to go through documents. That's a really big number. Um, if you can limit the amount of information that's stored and make it easier to find suspect documents, you can cut your legal bills pretty dramatically. Bulldozer, different discussion. I mean, Bulldozer is really about bringing together the power of Hadoop, which is great for obviously crunching big chunks of data, but not known for being fast, right? There's a kind of, the re maybe there's a reason there's an elephant for a logo, right? <laughs> um, but combining that with the power of Vertica's real-time analytics, so you can get insight from all of your Hadoop uh, data and systems, but do that in real time. So Bulldozer or Vertica 6.1 is a massive breakthrough.